Can we talk about the NFC North? Or AFC North? AFC North. Which division Steelers, is that? Steelers, Browns, Ravens, Bengals. Oh, absolutely. That sounds great. Because when I think of the a- AFC North, you know, last year everyone was talking about the Ravens, right? Like, the Ravens are a squad to be messed with. Like, they're going to be really, really good. And we just talked about it. They didn't get any better. And they're only getting worse, which is not good. Right. Um, and then you have the Steelers, who are doing pretty much the same thing, except they're also worse. <laughs> Their defense lost a bunch of guys. They have Ben Roethlisberger, who's, you know, aging. He's 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 pushing his his welcome in the NFL. Right. Um, and that offense is stagnant. I would say they didn't do much of anything last year. They have no running game. Nope. Their receivers are average. And that defense is only going to get worse than it was last year. And they tanked last year. They went like 11 and five after winning 11 straight. Cool. You let um, that sink in for a second. <laughs> oh my goodness. And Gosh. then you got the Bengals, who we're not even sure if the if Joe Burrow is going to be back for the beginning of this year. Right. And that's a big deal. The Bengals need Joe Burrow to be successful. If they don't have Joe Burrow, then it's like, all right, well, then they're back to like that O and like that one in 15 team that they were a few years ago. Correct. So, but now you got the Cleveland Browns who are one of those teams that are getting better. They added talent on that defensive side of the ball. Um, what the heck is that safety's name? They just picked up last name Johnson, I think. From the real um, from the Rams. Yeah, real good. Real good. And that fixed a big hole on that defense. Correct. That's a big problem. Their safeties gave up, I think it was six touchdowns last year, which led the league. Yep. Um, well, led them in the bottom of the league. Yeah. Um, and now they're, they're, as we speak, any minute now, we could get a notification on our phones that says they signed Jadavion Clowney, which Clowney is not the super hype that he was when he was drafted and he's not this super crazy guy that you're going to build your franchise around, but he's a good football player. He's a piece. He's a piece. He's good. Yep. Right. And imagine putting him on the side of miles Garrett. That's crazy stuff. That's real crazy stuff. He made some big plays when he was across from JJ Watt. Was he a dominant pass rusher all year long? No, he wasn't, but he made his plays with Seattle. When they made the playoffs, they were making that playoff push. When he was on Seattle, he made plays, dude. Like he was good. And then obviously for Tennessee last year, he didn't do much because he was hurt. Um, but this year, if he were to go, that that makes that team really, really talented. Like when you look across that team at the Oof. talent they have across the board, that's a top five talent team. Like just in terms of pure talent. Now, if Baker Mayfield can, you know, continue to be what Baker Mayfield was last year where he was playing well, he was getting out of his own way, wasn't trying to do too much lean on that running game with Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt, then I think this team could win that division in flying colors. Yeah. Which is weird to say that the the Browns are the division favorites in a division that still has Ben Roethlisberger, has Lamar Jackson, and an up-and-coming Joe Burrow. That's weird to think about, but the Browns have built this, this squad around that just has so much talent at every single position you look at offensive line defensive line linebackers secondary now it wasn't before but now secondary receiver running back now you just gotta look at quarterback tight end oh my gosh now quarterback can baker mayfield continue to push the limits of that offense and really if he can if that team gets better watch out yeah seriously because holy holy cow dude oh my goodness what do you what do you think about uh the nfc north am i am i make uh, afc north am i making a lot of these other teams look worse than they are or, or no. are the browns for real i think you're no i think you're right on pace i think the browns will win the division next year and i think they're gonna mm-hmm. do it by a game or two mm-hmm. i'm just not sold on um on the ravens i'm not sold on the steelers and the Bengals stink they're terrible mm-hmm. so i'm not worried about i'm never be worried about them ever i don't think in my lifetime will i ever see the Bengals be good let's just be real <laughs> i think we have a better chance of seeing football end before we see the Bengals <laughs> being good all right let's just go there 
But no, I think you're absolutely right. I think if you look at the Cleveland Browns from top to bottom, they're a top five team in the entire league in terms of just pure talent, not even yes. close. Mm -hmm. I think the key is the defense needs to limit the big plays, keep yep. everything short, keep everything short, no easy touchdowns. And I think if, if you're looking at that offense, find the identity early. Mm -hmm. Don't wait till halfway through the season like you did this past year to try to figure out what your identity is. Find it early and stick to it. Don't be fancy. Stop trying to change everything. You know mm -hmm. that Baker Mayfield does better when he when it's a run dominant offense and he can just sling it around on the back end. Let Nick Chubb go to work. Let Kareem Hunt go to work. And then you allow Baker Mayfield to do some play action where he's not trying to steer down, he's not staring down pressure. He doesn't have mm -hmm. four or five guys coming at him to hit him right in his mouth. And then he can drive the ball down the field to a guy like an Odell or mm -hmm. to an Ngakwe or um, Jarvis or Jarvis Landry or, you know, even a, a Nick Chubb out of the backfield or a Kareem mm -hmm. Hunt out of the backfield. Any of those guys, mm -hmm. right? Let your players play to their strengths. Mm -hmm. That would be my biggest thing. If the Bang if the Bengals, if the Browns can continue to allow their players to just play to their strengths, they will win the division. And they, I could see them going 12 and 5, 13 and 4. I really do. Mm -hmm. I really do. I could yeah. see them going 13 and 4 this year. They're that yeah. good, in my opinion. Yeah. They, and, and, and I think the big thing we saw last year was they out talented a lot of teams, but yeah. they couldn't outplay a lot of teams. Correct. Um, and I think getting out of their own way is a big deal. And that's what they did towards the end of last year minus like the last two games of the year where they you know they lost the jets they had a really tight game against uh the steelers that they ended up pulling out but um they won and then they beat the steelers in the playoffs <laughs> which was awesome to watch i love that one that one made me happy um i hate the steelers yeah i hope, I'm I, hope I hope the steelers go like i i, I i'm so mad i i'm kind of i'm happy that juju stayed in pittsburgh because i don't want to see him go anywhere else and, and mess up any other teams <laughs> but, God, God, I hate the Steelers.